It is the first Tuesday of May, the weather's getting nicer, and it's time for another weekly deal show. Stacking Cat. Welcome to the Stacking Cat channel, where I talk all things silver with a little bit of gold. If you want to see more of this type of content, then please subscribe and push that notification bell. If you enjoy this video, then hit that like button. Hey there, everyone, and welcome to the weekly deal show for Tuesday, May 4th of 2021. Okay, so there was going to be a little bit of concern if there was going to be any silver available following the big silver squeeze that we saw on May 1st. Now, I was a little concerned just to see what would happen, uh, what would happen to this deal show. I know a lot of people out there like to see what different types of silver we have available uh, for a good price. And so I was a little bit thinking about uh, where this show was going to be able to be headed. However, it turned out to be that there's still plenty of silver out there available. Now, mainly in the one ounce form, you're seeing a lot more of it than you were seeing the 10 ounce bars, which are pretty well not sold out, but just more limited availability than we have been seen. And when I was on Wall Street Silver, just kind of checking out some posts, just reading what people had to say about things. It seemed like silver bars, especially the 10 ounce bars, were some of the more common purchases that people were going with. So when we get into the deals here in just a second on all the various websites, I think you guys will notice that. And was it a success? Did it help or hurt spot price? Well, I think as you'll see that spot price wasn't affected at all. But like I said in a previous video, some more people who are understanding what silver is all about, the better. So more power to them. And uh, let's get into the deals. But before I do that, I do want to say that I am not associated with or affiliated with any of these online bullion dealers. I just like to go out there and find the best deals possible and bring them to you guys. So Let's go ahead and do that. So here we are on the Kitco app. Great app to have downloaded if you guys are stacking silver and gold. It really is beneficial to have. So silver sitting at 2660, gold at 1780.5. A little bit of a drop to where it was yesterday. We saw a nice little rise in silver and gold. Uh, it was the first market of the month. We just came off of April and the price went up just a little bit. So as you can see, it has fluctuated throughout the day. It flirted with the 27 barrier. However, that seemed to be the limit where it was at and dropped back down. So let's look at the 30 day average. As you guys can see, it's been under 25 briefly. It hit this 2650 mark around the third week of April. Now gold pretty much did the same exact thing. Uh, as you can see right here, it flirted with 1800 again, could not quite uh, penetrate that barrier but if you look at its 30-day average kind of the same same thing that third week of April we saw gold rise up a little bit so the price is really gonna be where it's at uh, I don't foresee it going up too much higher for the time being of course getting into the summertime in the late summer though we could see the price jump a little bit but as of now we're gonna be in that 25 to 27 range and so let's start with JM Bullion. Now they had a great deal here on their one ounce uh, generic silver round, their St. Gaudens, not the double eagle gold coin. It is the silver round. So a good price on this one. As you guys can see, it is 479 over spot, 3140 uh, according to today's spot price. So that's a good price. You're not finding this at many other places. Now, over the weekend, they had some flash sales on a few sites, SD Bullion and the others. But as of now, you can see that this price here on a generic round is probably the best way you're going to be able to go. Let's scroll down here. There's a Scotia Bay half ounce gold round secondary market at a pretty good price. If you guys earned a generic gold. But let's go to the uh, one kilo Pamp Suisse. So this is 479 over spot as well. Now I know $1,000 or more is a lot to spend at one time, but if you can afford it and you're in the market, this is a really good price on a one kilo bar. 
Okay, so let's go to the aforementioned SD Bullion, where they have some pretty good deals as well. They also have the sweepstakes to win a 1,000 ounce Comex style bar. This would be a nice victory if you guys can win. Uh, you'll have to go in there and figure out how to do it, all the rules and all that, but that would be a nice item to win. But let's uh, go over to their docs deals page. So their 90% is pretty high, 629 over spot. Uh, you'll find that cheaper in other places. We'll get into that later. Now here's some interesting gold. We have quarter ounce gold pandas and half ounce gold pandas. Now I think these are good prices. Uh, let's see, let's do the quarter ounce. This is probably the best route to go. So 522.55, not a bad premium. And gold pandas are in demand. If you go to sell one back, you probably will be able to find a market, at least your own secondary market, and maybe make some of your premium back if you ever went that route. They also have the one ounce 2021 silver kangaroo still at 529 over spot. A pretty good premium price here for a sovereign government mint, the Perth Mint, of course. This was a deal last week as well. They must have had a huge quantity. They're still there. Uh, this is just a great price. You can see it's only 50 cents more than the generic. If you want to go the sovereign route, they also have the 2021 quarter ounce year of the ox gold coin. They've had this one on sale for about a month. So I don't know if they're just running deep in this Perth Mint stuff and people aren't buying it. But at 509.19 and an 11% premium, that's really low for a quarter ounce gold coin. And it's the Perth Mint, it's a Lunar Series. There's some little bit of collectability to it. So this could be a good gold coin if you're looking for that fractional gold and you don't want to pay the high premiums on American Gold Eagles or any of the other, even Gold Maple Leafs. But I do want to get into their 10 ounce bars because like I mentioned earlier, that this seems to be where a lot of the attention was paid during that silver raid on May 1st. They have the uh, Design Our Choice secondary market barb. You could see they're out of a few others. And uh, let's look at that. Now, like it mentions, it is Design Their Choice. You can get an A mark, you can get a few others. Uh, let's see here. Sorry about that. Okay, so here we go. Uh, $315.94. You're paying a pretty good premium on that as well, under $5. So. That could be a route to go. Now, Silver Gold Bull has quite a few bars as well. This price is very competitive with those. Uh, if you guys wanted to go check those out, you can. I'm not gonna go through that today in this episode or video, but the 10 ounce silver bar at SD Bullion, and a lot of sites are sold out of these bars or they just don't have large inventories of them. So you guys may wanna act on this quick if that's where you wanna go. And like I said, this just seems to be the primary piece of silver that people were buying on that raid day. So I do want to go to Hero Bullion. I know a lot of you out there request it. They do have a pretty good deal on their 90% uh, for now, for the times we're in. It's still pretty high price compared to the past and compared to some other things. But as you guys can see here, they have dimes and quarters, both as low as $23.82. Uh, that's $1 face value, but let's click on it. So $24.83 if you're just getting $1 face, but $24.54 if you're going $20 face. So you're saving 29 cents there. This is just the best deal you're going to find on Junk Silver right now. Unfortunately, it's still really high price, but I know a lot of you out there do like to stack it because it's a classic hold of silver. It had, it's backed up by the U.S. government. It was actual currency. So let's go to bullion exchanges here. Uh, they have a couple of good prices. I am here to check out a gold coin, but I do want to get into their on sales page just because there is a silver round that is at a decent price. All right. Yeah, right here. This Asahi silver round. Uh, it says 3109. Of course, that's large quantity. But if you just buy one, you're looking at 31. 99 so you're still paying a little over five dollars in the premium that silver kangaroo is probably a better deal but if you like shopping at bullion exchange they do have a the asahi round at a good price something maybe to consider if you are on here buying something else and you want to get a cheaper round of course it's directly from the factory from asahi so it's not on the secondary market 
Now they do, like I said, I wanted to get into a gold coin, and it is, of course, the gold Austrian Philharmonic, random year. So you're looking at 1865.50, so about an $80 premium. That is a good price right now for gold, a uh, one ounce gold coin, well respected, highly recognizable, the Philharmonic, both in silver and gold. So if you do have the money, like I said, if you cannot afford it, if it's out of your budget, don't do it. But if you are in the market for a one ounce gold coin, this could be the pickup right here. Now, Silvertown is a rare one. I don't think I've ever done a, a, a video on this particular mint before. And that's just because of a few factors. They generally don't have the best prices or inventory. But Silvertown is known for their classic bars themselves, but they do have the cheapest uh, Silver American Eagle right here. So $36.06, you're paying about a $9.50 premium. Now that is a pretty good price compared to a lot of these other sites. It is in stock. So I, this is by far the best price when it comes down to it. If you're paying through check, through wire, uh, e-check, I believe they accept, but you may want to check in on that just in case, but this is a good price for American Silver Eagles right now. I know $9.50 is super high, but other sites have it at like $11, $12. So if you are in the market for an Eagle, Silvertown.com, their web, their bullion website has great prices on them right now. And so that is the end of all these deals. And let's get into the recap. So I'm going to do this recap outside. It's just such a nice day out here. Don't want to be cooped up inside doing any more than I need to. So let's get into it, though. The one ounce silver St. Gaudens at JM Bullion is probably the best price you're going to find on the generic silver rounds. There are a lot more one ounces available than the 10 ounce bars right now. There are plenty available as well. I did punch in the quantity amount at 9999 and it accepted it. So there are plenty of those out there. They also have the one kilo silver bar. Uh, from Pamp Suisse at a good price, only $4.79 over spot as well. So I know that's a lot of silver to buy at once, but if it is in your budget and you want a nice chunk of silver, then there you go. Now, there is also SD Bullion, which has some good prices. The one ounce silver kangaroo is still available. This one has been there for a couple weeks now, so I'm sure their inventory is pretty large. They also have some quarter ounce gold coins, the gold panda, which of course would be 2015 or before. They now make them in the eight gram, but when it was the traditional, the standard measurements at a quarter ounce, that's the one you would get, as well as they have a quarter ounce Perth Mint uh, 2021 gold lunar year of the ox. That's a mouthful to say, but uh, yeah, so they have the gold year of the ox there in a quarter ounce at only an 11% premium. So you're getting a really good price on fractional gold. You generally don't see that. And there's also some good deals at some other spots. Hero Bullion, of course, has the 90%. 90% uh, still pretty expensive, but the cheapest price you will find is there. Bullion Exchanges has some nice things as well. And Silvertown.com has the cheapest American Silver Eagle. So first time using them on this weekly deal show. And speaking of the weekly deal show, I do appreciate each and every one of you who tune in each week. And if you're just finding it for the first time, keep coming back. It is every Tuesday. And if you'd like to see similar videos about silver and a little bit of gold, then please subscribe and push that notification bell. Smash that like button and leave a comment. And until next time, this is the Stacking Cat.